Headline stories we are looking at for you and over 2,000 nurses and midwives have threatened to demonstrate on July 29 if government fails to post them to various stations in the country. Now, according to them, their postings have delayed for six months and many calls to the health ministry to post them has been unsuccessful. And we've been joined on the line by the spokesperson of the Unemployed Nurses and Midwives Association, Daniel Dapa. Good afternoon, Daniel. Thank you very much for joining us. Good afternoon, Martin, and good afternoon to your cherished viewers. Great. Um, what are some of the reasons that you've been given for the delay in postings? That is, if you've been able to contact the uh, health ministry. All right. Once again, I thank you so much for this opportunity. This group completed school 2013, have finished our national service. All necessary things have been done. Ideally, after, after one month, we need to be posted. But in our case, it's never like that. We have stayed in the house for almost six months now. For this reason, we have petitioned the Ghana Health Service, Ministry of Health, and they are all blaming it on Ministry of Finance for not releasing the necessary clearance for our postings. Various follow-ups have been made, but to no avail. People in authority keep telling us that we should have patients and soon we will be posted. My dear, since January, this word soon has run it on the airway. Up to now, we are still hearing the word soon. We don't know how soon this thing is going to end. But the pending rumors say that we are being affected by the IMF conditionalities. But the shocking situation I speak to you now is that our colleagues in the northern region, which we completed school work, have started work since January and are taking salaries. The question we want to ask is that, are they not our mates? Or do they also need clearance for their postings? And for this matter, we want to appeal to opinion leaders in this country, Christian council, stakeholders, our mother association, that is the Ghana Registered Nurses Association, and all concerned parents to add voice and wait to our plight so that it will serve as a catalyst for the government to facilitate our postings. We um, have... Hello? Yes, Daniel. Yes, please. In your submission, you said that your colleagues in the northern part of the country have started, they've been posted and they've started working. Does that mean that uh, this particular delay in the posting affects just a number of regions or all the other nine regions? In fact, this is a question we need people in authority to even answer to us. But nobody is willing to tell us anything. They only keep telling us to be patient. Meanwhile, they are working. But in the nursing, in, in the nursing field, when you complete school, you have to serve for a number of years before you can even further your education. We want to ask, our colleagues have started work. Are they going to start their, their, their education and leave us in the house? Should any promotion come, are they going to be, you know, are, are, are they going to benefit before us? We don't know, as I speak to you now. As we are in the house, we, 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 we want to work with private hospitals. When we go, they tell us to bring our pain. We are in the house, we don't have any pain, we don't have anything. The, 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 the modicum amount of money which the government gives to us when we are doing national service has been scrapped off since, January, since December. We are in the house, left incapacitated. Our parents okay. are now taking care of us okay. as, as Dan. little children. Dan, so uh, we, we want to. Hello? Yes, Daniel, uh, just hold on for me. Uh, we have Tony Goodman on the line. He's with the uh, health ministry to tell us why they have not posted you yet. And then probably you can get answers to some of your questions. Mr. Goodman, good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us. Good afternoon, my brother. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, have you heard the concerns of these um, nurses, nurses and midwives? And what is the ministry's position on why they've not been posted for close to six months? Thank you very much. Good afternoon to our uh, viewer. What the whole issue is just simple that we are waiting in the Ministry of Health to get clearance before we employ people. You know, in the past, we normally employ and then wait for finance to get what we call clearance for us. But um, financial administration says that now you should get the clearance. After getting the clearance, you now post or you employ that individual. So that is what the ministry is just going by. Is that it? Yes. Okay, according to their submission, uh, some of their colleagues in other regions have started. Is it that it is based on regional 
you know, demarcation, or it is a national issue that takes off at, at, uh, at one time? Um, what happens is that we look at our needs when it comes to human resource. If you look at a region where there is a need, maybe you have a, a, a hospital in northern region that has no health worker, or you've put it up a new facility that needs people to go in. You'd, what you do is that you manage and get some of them and use uh, IGF to pay them or find a way of uh, paying them so that the people... Okay. So um, I think la it was last year, last two years, some nurses said, if you say it's a financial clearance that is delaying payment of our salary, why won't you wait and get the clearance before you post us? Okay. And we thought that, yes, that is the way it has to be done. But since we need workers to, to also deliver on uh, our mandate, which is quality health service, hmm. we post them before we seek for uh, clearance for them. Okay. So we are just being careful. You don't post people to work for no, uh, some number of uh, months without a uh, salary, without and that salary. will also become okay. a legal issue. So we are looking at all the implications, and this is the way we are all going right. to make sure that we get a clearance first. All right, just hold on a little for me. Daniel, okay. I believe you've had answers to your questions, so you just have to uh, hold on a not, little longer. Not, not, not really, because this thing has been heard since January, that we should, wait, we should wait until financial clearance are being released. We want to ask him that so... Should we stay in the house for almost two years before it's released? What do we do then? Yeah, because as I said to you now, there is no a definite date by which a declaration will be released. But then so as I said to you... Heard him, he says that if you go, you can be posted, but then you wouldn't be getting the, the necessary financing that you will be needing. Would you prefer it that way? That is no, where that, the dilemma is. That is, that is why we, we, we want him to stick and tell us when exactly. Because as I speak to you now, we cannot work with any other people. The, the, the private hospital are not ready to employ us. And we don't need it. As I speak to you now, on 20, 29th of this month, we are embarking on a very massive demonstration of members okay. of about 2,000 okay. nurses and midwives All who right. take the street of Accra and demonstrate against Ghana Health Service, Ministry of Health, and the government for that matter. All right, uh, Daniel, thank you very much for uh, speaking with us. Daniel Dapa is the spokesperson for the Unemployed Nurses and Midwives Association.